Oh. Great. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to all things hockey. Let's fix that. <laughs> um, and today, we have another classic mail day. Um, let me clean this all up. Uh, mainly because, as you've probably heard previously, boxes haven't been that great for me. Um, I did have a box of 1920 uh, Series 1 that worked out fantastic. Um, probably the best box I've had since the uh, Crosby buyback, which was fantastic. Check that video out if you haven't seen it. It was a good time. Um, at the time of opening it, I didn't realize what I had um, until, you know, I, I looked it up and figured out what it all was and turned out to be a really, really, really nice card. But regardless, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight M's in my... No, um, three, six, six eBay purchases and a trade with the infamous, um, Troutman. He is a wonderful, one, wonderful friend of mine on Instagram. Um, he is the amazing man who sent me that huge box of, um, I say huge, but it was a small box, a small box of a very large sum of a million dollars, um, lots of capitals cards, um, and uh, he single-handedly built my entire Caps PC with that one box. But um, since I've been rambling and we're about a minute and a half in and I haven't done anything for you, we're going to get into this with the first eBay purchase. And um, I'm getting better at remembering how much I spent on these. Um, and so this one right here, um, I'm going to see if the receipt actually tells me because it is from COMC. Um... Okay, so $10 after shipping. I believe I spent 5 on the card and then 4 something on shipping. But a player we don't have yet checked off is Michael Scarbosa. Uh, number 3 out of 99. And this is... It's a beautiful card. Uh, we're going to take it out so we can see it a little bit better. But we got hard signed. And we've got a 2 color patch with a jersey. So 3 color in total. Um, I was thinking about getting his Young Guns, which was just a few dollars, but I figure spend two or three dollars more and get this beautiful, um, technically is, yeah, it is an RPA, Rookie, uh, Rookie Patch Auto, uh, beautiful card for five dollars, so snag that, that's going to look perfect in the collection, and, um, that means that we get to check him off the list, which I will do after this, but... Super happy about that. Next up, I don't know why we put the knife away. We have a packing peanut. I paid seventeen dollars. Oh, hold on, we got two packing peanuts. We got four packing peanuts. Look at that, four pack. Oh yeah, rolling in the dough, baby. All right, so this. Um, as you may have seen in a previous video, we've got a, a Stanislav Galiev Future Watch. Paid, um, I think it was about $3 for this, give or take. Um, as you may have seen in a previous video, we got his um, Canvas Young Guns. And figure we'll add the Future Watch to that. And complete the trio like I did with Cody Glass and Alex Tuck. Uh, not going to take it out of its little wrapper, but that is... 112 out of 999 non autoed from 1516 SP Authentics. So, <clears throat> super solid little addition for just a few bucks. Um, I swear, I don't know how many times I pointed this out, but this is the nicest little freebie I've ever gotten. That thing just shreds through packages. All right, next up. We have, oh, this one, my sort of shameful PC that no one really knows about, <laughs> Jimmy Schultz. We got his um, uh, Retro Future Watch, I think that's what they call this, um, for, oh, uh, jeez, I got this a little while ago. This was also fairly cheap, like $10, I think. Um, number 64 out of 399 uh, this will look fantastic next to 
his normal future watch or I might actually replace his normal future watch with this since the number is a bit lower um, so that's pretty solid like I said he's my shameful PC because for some reason people don't like him people don't want to get his cards I guess they don't hold too much value considering his you know his future watch and his retro future watch don't sell for very much but that means more stuff for me for a cheaper price. Um, let's see if we can. Oh, okay. Yep. I remember this. So, the tape is on in a funny way. So, let's get this tape off. But right here, we've got us a Nicholas Waugh future watch. We've got a lot of future watches in this video. 977 out of 999 and I needed him for the Golden Knights um, he is right there on the Knights uh, Reeves should be checked off so it's just Yurko, Kolasar, and Nosek uh, I want to say Kolasar will be available as a young gun in Series 2 coming up um, but I knocked Wa off for about three dollars I'm pretty positive is what I paid for that. Um, um, I'm really, really getting rid of all the cheap players and getting close to the ones where their cards aren't exactly easy to get. Are those basketball cards? Um, I'm kind of worried about this, not going to lie. There's basketball cards. I don't collect basketball cards. <laughs> um, okay, so I see young guns, so I'm curious as to what's um oh okay so this is interesting i'm gonna go through these anyway because they're kind of cool looking um but if you're into basketball let me know um i'll honestly i can just send you these i don't have any reason to uh keep them i don't watch basketball uh especially i think this is college basketball either way this was a card that I won on auction for $18, or $15, and that is a Bowen Byram Young Guns. Um, fun fact, I bought his uh, Jumbo Young Guns like over a month ago, and it is still yet to arrive. It's kind of worrying me, but I uh, got his normal Young Guns for very cheap compared to what he usually sells for, so very happy that we have that um, Young Guns collection is starting to get larger with cards that are worth more than a few dollars or cards that are just capitals and knights. So super excited. Um, at first, I didn't really understand the appeal, but now I kind of enjoy it. I don't know. It is what it is. Another card that I paid very cheap for, I'm pretty sure it was $5. I'm going to take it out to show you, is a... Ain <laughs> and a and Olaf Kol Olaf Kolzig, uh, authentic game war game worn. Wow, I am losing it today. Uh, patch variant. Gonna take it out because oh jeez, the um sleeve is not the greatest. So that right there is a patch, just a black one. Um. But a patch none of the less. It is numbered 63 out of 173. I didn't know that upon purchasing it. So that's pretty nice that it's um, numbered. But yeah, I, uh, I saw this for about $5. And um, with like a dollar or two shipping. And thought, why not? Um, you know, I've, I've got a few Kolzig cards. And he was uh, a very big part of the Capitals at some point. So grab that for about 5 bucks. And on to the final bit. This is the trade I did with the wonderful Troutman. Um, I honestly forget completely. Not completely. I know a few things that he sent me. Um, but I'm excited to... Oh, yeah, I'm excited. Um, got some very interesting cards here. So first one being... A TJ Oshi uh, totally certified 17 out of 35 I didn't realize it was numbered that low 
that's a really nice looking card. So I'm guessing this is uh, some kind of purple variant. Um, like I said, 17 out of 35. So that's really cool looking. And then we've got a rookie, DJ Oshi from MVP. Non-numbered, but it is a rookie from a 0809 MVP. We have another rookie, uh, Choice Rookies, Collector's Choice, so that is 0809 Collector's Choice Hockey. I've never actually heard about that, so I might have to look into that. Um, I, I really enjoy the older sets, because most of the time they're decently cheap. And then we've got a Yours Truly TJ Oshi autograph, and that is from 2011 Panini. Um, it is his his blues, um, his his years in the blues, but you know TJ Oshi is a solid part of the Capitals at this point, so I really can't complain about that. Um, it was a trade, so uh, I feel like we both are pretty satisfied with what we got. And the final card and the second Mark Andre Fleury on the Knights is a nice Premiers jersey. Um, I'm really happy about this because, like I've said in it was either the previous video or um, video before. I didn't have any Knights cards for Flurry that weren't like base or canvas, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm really happy to finally start collecting more Flurry cards that were um, from the Knights. So that's really solid. Um, pretty good, uh, pretty good Oshi crop there. Um, some uh, really, really nice rookie cards. Um, super solid mail day. Honestly, this was a really good little collection I got here. Uh, so if you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to leave a like. And more importantly, subscribe for more content on all things hockey. Um, if you subscribe, you're automatically entered into every giveaway henceforth. Um, at this point, we've already hit 100 subs, so I appreciate you guys so much. Um, it Honestly, it's truly a dream for me to be doing this. Uh, obviously, 100 subs isn't much, but, you know, you got to start somewhere. So thank you guys again. Uh, check out the description for my Instagram if you want to trade or sell. Um, and I will see you in the next video.